This afternoon at Coyote Classics, we're gonna check out and test drive this 1972 Pontiac Le Mans. Now this is a really neat survivor car. We went ahead and put um, new wheels, put a hood tack and spoiler on it, just make this thing look even more, you know, muscular. Yeah, it made a muscle car out of a freaking great looking car. Survivor, yeah. It's got a lot of photo documentation, a book with a binder showing, you know, how this thing was found in a, in a barn. It was a really solid car to begin with. Um, and then they kind of brought it back to life, a really sharp Survivor. Pretty much one of the most solidest uh, 72 Pontiac Le Mans I've ever seen. If you look underneath this one, there's absolutely not a patch, not an issue ever under it. The underneath is extremely impressive. Yeah, it was underneath. underneath and so is all the original paint on the inner fenders and stuff like that. A bottom of the hood paints 100% original as well. Uh, I, just a fantastic car. Has it got like 95,000 miles to you or something? Uh, power steering, power brakes, uh, brand new hood tack. We are gonna hook the hood tack up. We didn't do that yet. Um, as far as the uh, was a factory air car needs some of that to, you know, redone to be uh, functional. Ninety-five thousand original miles. Still has original interior. Tell them about that documentation a little bit in that book, because that's to me that's what makes this car so special. Is is the one repaint, hundred percent survivor. Mm -hmm. Still has you know original dealers invoices and things, but also has the original key tag that was on the the keys when it bought brand new. Uh, which you never ever see. Um, it's got a really nice book that shows photos of you know when it was found in the barn and then after it was washed up, just showed you know how nice and solid it still was. It was covered in quite a bit of dust, but after they gave it a bath, you know, beautiful car. Yeah, this is one that would have been like on the barn find kind of things, mm -hmm. but they when they polished it up, it looked awesome. Yeah. You know, it really didn't even need. I don't want to say didn't need a paint job because obviously a paint job is going to make it better. But yeah. once it was polished up, it looked really nice. Yeah. But then they did go ahead and repaint it. Um, they did put, I think the disc brakes, Dalton, were added the, by the previous owner, and so was the new exhaust. Then we did the wheels and tires, hood tack and spoiler. Yep. I had somebody say, why would you do a hood tack and a spoiler? It was a great Le Mans. Well, if it if so great, you should have bought it before I did it, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we're just trying to make it more of a muscle car, and, you know, it drives like a muscle it car. Looks, now it looks like now a muscle it looks, car. Yeah, it looks really sharp. And I'll tell you what, there's nothing half-assed about this one or tacky. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of cars that might, GTO clones and stuff out there that look cool, but this is just as solid and as original as a guy's gonna find. Yeah. Yeah, most of this car was done, just last person that did it was GM. Like, I think GM's the last person, I know GM was the last person that painted these door jams. Look. Yep. Original door rubber still, see it? Very nice and pliable. 100% and they did a pretty decent match. I mean, the new repaint is got a little more metallic, is a little flashier. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's all original. Look at this. If you've been watching this one for a while, guys, I mean, you need to come and drive it. Yeah. You know, uh, it's a great car. Uh, driver's side seat does have some uh, rips through. Other than that, carpet's still 100% original. Front seat, back seat, door panels. Um, has a couple of spots in that does have about three little spots in the headliner, but the dome light works. Visors are clean. Dash pad is great, except for a Tiny, tiny little split on the uh, top of the dash. Door panels are perfect original. And that color is beautiful too. Uh, pop that trunk. I mean, that's, I said the undercarriage, but I think the trunk's the favorite part on the car. Um, it does have a couple little bubbles under that vinyl top, way over on the passenger side. You're never gonna wow. find a trunk Holy that looks shit. like this, Dalton. Look at that. That's all hard. It's all original metal. And it's, We've seen some of the original metal before, but never really that clean still. Isn't that nuts? Look it's at that. absurd. Even like the seam seal that they put on there still looks like it was new. Yep. I mean, some people just don't understand the thing. Oh, original Jack and Sparrow. You know what I'm saying though? I mean, you just don't yeah. see them like this, so people think it's all like redone and yeah. patched. No, this is it, guys. Original quarters. I mean, it's original quarter panels and it's just perfect. Bottom of the trunk lid, original paint, no rust, no nothing on this lip. You can't find another one so like that. So many of these are so thick. You yes. know what I mean? Especially in that $30,000 price range. Yeah. That's the thing is you can go through half the barns in Iowa and never find another one like this that's this solid. To restore. Yes. And a lot of them have been patched up, buggered up, bondoed up. 
Corner of the door is perfect. Behind the wheel is awesome. We did take the ugly mud flaps off, so there is a few little holes for that there yet. Might add wheel well trim on it, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Be nice if a guy put that back on, maybe. Um, lower fender's great. Back of the hood sits down a little bit. Let's drive it, huh? Again, door jam paints, original, rust-free doors. Door panel is awesome. It's got a little rip here in the factory armrest. And again, driver's side seat here and there. But the nice thing is they're only original once. Uh, the wood grain is awesome in it. Additional boss, Original radio works. Peter works. Wiper is work. Hood tackle work is brand new, guys. I just haven't, we haven't wired it up yet. Tilt wheel. I'd drive this one anywhere, too. Yeah. I mean, that's just it. Very nice car. Another fasten seatbelt light comes on, don't it? Does this sound good, though? I mean, even it does. in here. Yeah, it does. I mean, it. That's why I did the hood tack and spoiler. You know, we already did the wheels. It's got such a nice sound and dual exhaust. Look, we're putting it on our own little car show out here. <laughs> yeah. Yep, this is all mods. It's cool. There we go. Those are all the videos we've done today so far. We got, what, three left? So this is number six, so we got two left. I think Shay's sleeping down there. Might be. There he goes. Like impressive, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Is that? Yep. Shay's upset at himself. It's all right. It's all right. I completely missed it. <laughs> You're good. I'll get you here. Shay's gonna get a little shot so you guys can see what this thing looks like going down the road. He missed the first one. <laughs> Sleeping, fell asleep a little bit. You were impressed though, weren't you? Oh yeah, it was quick. And that's what these bigger 17 inch tires are. Yeah. Smooth, smooth car. Transmission shifts awesome, huh? Speedometer's perfect, 65, 70. Kick her down again, 80. Wow. It's muscle. Yeah, it's a 352 too. barrel, but it's still a damn nice little muscle car. Yeah, it is. Runs and drives down the road awesome. It really is. Gas gauge works as well. Um, so we kind of went through it. Everything 100% works, except for you're going to need to do something with air conditioning. Here's your disc brakes. Perfect. No pull off right. Should we just make it? Let's just do it. Just a quick turn in front of this semi. Show how much faith I have in this old girl. I got faith. I got faith in her power. I mean, if you have an original 352 barrel with the right transmission kick down and everything, it'll fucking, by the time that four barrel spit and sputter in a little bit, this is already past it. Yep, absolutely. Seriously. That's a good one. It's for sale, too. Check it out on the site, coyotecastings.com. It's for sale. Go to the website, check this thing out, um, and give us a call. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.